hi what is up youtube thank you for tuning in today i'm going to show you how to install that deb programs in kali linux so let's get started so our first step is to go ahead and download a dot deb program so i'm going to download google chrome as an example and then we're going to go ahead and accept and install All right, instead of using the archive manager, we're gonna go ahead and save the file. Okay. And this is gonna go ahead and download the file in our download folder. So here is our .deb file that we need to install. So the next step is to go ahead and open the terminal. So you can access the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt plus the letter T. So the next step is to go ahead and navigate to the folder downloads from the terminal by typing CD space downloads. The D is uppercase and then you're going to go ahead and click enter. And then the next step, you're going to type sudo space dpkg space dash i space. And then you're going to type the exact name of the program you're trying to install, including the extension that deb. So you can also right click it and go to properties. And then you can go ahead and right click the name or title. And then you're going to copy it and paste it right after the space right here and then you're gonna add the dot D E B and then you're gonna go ahead and hit enter it's gonna ask you for the password you're gonna go ahead and type the password enter so this failed for some reason all right, so why don't we check for missing dependencies first? So we're going to go ahead and do sudo dpkg-i. And then we're going to add the title of the program. There is a space after the i. and then enter then we type the password enter and we get the same error all right so let's go ahead and uh, update our system so sudo apt update So it's going to go ahead and download the updates and then we're going to do sudo apt full dash upgrade dash y and then we wait until this is over Uh, let's go ahead and clear the screen. And now we're going to go to CD downloads. And then we're going to type sudo space dpkg space dash i space. And then we're going to add the name of the program we want to install and we will type enter and we still have the same problem all right so this time we're going to try to install it using a different method so we're going to use sudo apt install jdb 
dash core enter all right so with G dev installed we're gonna go ahead and use it to install our program so we're gonna do sudo dash or I mean sudo space g dev space and then we're gonna add the title of uh, the program just like that dot d e d and as you can see it's gonna go ahead and launch the program and install it so we have yes or no we have yes we're gonna type yes or a y then enter and it's gonna go ahead and install Google Chrome so you can go ahead and try the gdebit method if the first one didn't work just like in my case so just as you can see we just installed Google Chrome after searching Chrome it pops up right here you can go ahead and launch it Google Chrome ready to be used so if you found this video useful make sure to drop a like subscribe and stay tuned for more thank you for watching and i will see you on my next video